Welcome to T-Mobile Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Jose Altuve up to it here. Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and we are underway. Seven o'clock. Big swing and a miss. Cold night like tonight. Oh, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you really try to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Here's Jordan Alvarez. First pitch misses. Alvarez goes six feet five inches, batting second in today's lineup, and he's a former rookie of the year. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One out, base is empty. And it's even up. Change up. Here's Kyle Tucker. Nope. And that's outside. Okay. Ball one. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Out Whatever. there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Swing and a miss. Good fastball ball. going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And now it's going to be J.P. Crawford. The shortstop, J.P. Crawford. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. The line of the pitch. That one way inside. Way inside gets out of the way. And another ball. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. And the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Goodbye, home run. He hammers one out to right. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Always oh, exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swings and misses. The one, two. And now the lefty gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
And one, one and two. Two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Batting third. The batter now, the Jorge Polanco. The switch hitter batting right. Polanco. And a good eye there. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. The pitch. That misses. And it's two and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. 2-2 two -two now. That Three one ball, missed. Two strike. On the ground to third. Tosses to oh. first. And Polanco is out. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Outfield hit playing very deep, not wanting Garver. anything over their heads. Hey. Swings through that one. You know, that's All a swing one. you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to barrel that up. Hey. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Ahead 0-2 in the oh, count. Yeah, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. That one the other way. And he makes the catch. And the inning is over. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Alex Bregman. The right-hander back to work. And a swing and a miss. Castillo, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. That misses. One and oh. The Strohs trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Just missed. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended. Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss as he was late. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground to the left. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Jose Abreu up to hit. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. And he grounds one to the right side. The throw to first. That takes care of Abreu. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back in Seattle, bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. You know, Raleigh made history in 2023. He had a game with two home runs and six RBIs becoming the first catcher in Mariners history to do that. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball one. And there's a ball. Speaking of dingers, he's the second fastest to 50 home runs in Seattle history. Only A-Rod needed fewer games. Hey. Swing and a miss. A nice changeup. The wide to kick the pitch. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Fights that one away, still one and two. To third. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Ty France up next for the Mariners. And 
a foul ball. Abreu. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two up, two down. Luke Rayleigh digs in now. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Next offering Damn. is down low. Aye. And strike two. Two, two, two. And here it comes. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. Back at T-Mobile Park, here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. And looks like he wants the signs again as he steps off the rubber. Castillo, back to work. On the corner for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Comes up empty. Overall, two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. A little out front there as he swings through it. The M's up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Late on that fastball. Go a straight queso right there. The shortstop takes the ball. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. So beat there at 98 miles an hour. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Swing and a foul straight back. Catches the zone for a strike, and the count is 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he's... And we're back, now batting Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Here comes a pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Luis Urias at the plate now. That's ball one. Foul ball there. How about this one, Boo? In 2023, Arias hit grand slams for Boston in back-to-back -back plate appearances. They happened on different days, but he still became the first Red Sox player to do it since Jimmy Fox in 1940. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The pitch. The punch out there, and there's one down. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a pitch. Base knock right field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Fall off foul. Right through there for a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the last half of the third. 
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two on, one out. Three. Caught him looking for the K. So digging in, Jorge Polanco grounded out his first time. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. That's down and in. The pitch. Right back to him on the mound. Throws to first, and Polanco is out. What a play, inning over. set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And a pitch. Altuve, a member of the 2000 hit club, can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. Well, these Astros, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone! Home run! He circles the bases. It's 1-1. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Next one misses. And the count even one and one. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. On the ground. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. And the batter now, Kyle Tucker. Went down on strikes his first time through. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Tucker, who's been an all-star and a gold glover. Next offer is in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Man at second. Got him. One gone here. Now it's Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 1. Late on that fastball. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gainer Diaz. Swings through that. Well, he threw that fastball oh, right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Field two. And they find for the K. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Mitch Garver. The pitch. Just missed. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. There's a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next one arm strike. before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. And the pitch. That misses. And that's ball three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Next to hit, Cal Raleigh. Go for one, he grounded out in his first at bat. That's a little bit low. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And 
a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Oh. And that one cutting but missing down low. And a 2 1 hammered but foul. Kicks and fires. And down on strikes. Out number two. And here's the first baseman, Ty France, 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one. Swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And in. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Castillo back to work. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, these Astros just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. Two balls, one strike. Just yeah, missed. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a big swing and a miss. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Next no pitch is outside. Hey. Got him swinging. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh and one. Oh and two now as he swings through it. Oh, well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Swing and a miss. We head to the bottom of the field. Here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. As the lefty gets to work. And that one missing low. Well, these Mariners need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Oh, big dogs got to eat. And the Mariners have the lead. It's 2-1.
A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Mitch Hanniger up next for the Mariners. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, and two. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here's Luis Arias. And that one fouled off. Here's something cool, Boo. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. Oh. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago oh, White Sox, we opened the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. That's it's a beautiful too. place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here. On the ground, right side. Now Tuve handles it. Sends it to first. Two away now. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. He's already homered in this game. Swing it a foul straight back. And that one got a piece of him. That really wasn't a bad pitch at all, but hitters these days just aren't afraid to get up on top of the plate. Julio Rodriguez, the next to hit. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that one hops the wall. And that's a two-out double. All over that one right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now, Jorge hey. Polanco. Check swing, but he went too one. far. It's 0 1. Way one high. Ball, one strike. Two outs. Swings and misses at the pitch One off ball. the plate. Two Definitely three. got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond. And Polanco is out. That ends the inning. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. First pitch misses. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The next offering misses. Two and oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Ryan Stanek taking over on the mound. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Inside corner for a strike, and it's 2-1 and one now. And it's strike two. And the 2-2. Two -two. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And a 1 0. Swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. 
The Astros down by a run. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two out. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. That one almost got him. Warning track. Wall. And you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast. It's 2-2. Two -two. Kyle Tucker getting ready to hit. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a swing and a miss there. All ones that count. Swings through that. Do that fastball right oh, by him, slightly strikes. elevated. That's a confidence boost. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH, Mitch Garver. Garver. Myers should have this one. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. Now the Mariners now catcher, Cal catcher. Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. Just nope. missed. You can expect this hitter to be looking for That's something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Ball, and that's that. outside. Ball two. One down, base is empty. And ball another three. ball. And he walked him. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me. Right there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. France one in the box now as he leaves that one up high. There's a strike at the knees. And the count even at one. And the right-hander deals. That one down the line. And that's just foul. That All one two. missed. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Rayleigh one, stands no in with two away as he takes a ball. Two balls, ball no three. strikes to count. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. The ball next three. pitch misses, and that's ball three. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really Eight. well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Three and two. Three and two now. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back in Seattle, here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Austin Bolt. The wind and the pitch. And for a strike. 0-1. Vogue, a 6-2 righty, 31 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, that's that slope right oh, there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next pitch ball. misses. Going to count one and two. Swings through that. 
and it's a strikeout. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Way out front for strike two. And the righty deals. And that one is inside. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. So next up for Houston, Jose Abreu. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Oh, one's the count. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. And he chases that one. Bottom of the inning, down the third baseman, Luis Urias. The third baseman, Luis And the pitch. In there at the knees, going one. Late that time, and it's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And takes low for ball one. Oh, that got him. And the go-ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. J.P. Crawford now at the plate. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Brown ball to the right side. And there's a hit! Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Having himself a really... Nice game at the plate. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Now a chance for Julio Rodriguez. Just off the inside edge. And no, there's no. a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. There's the strike. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Jorge Polanco will hit next. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. He'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One and one. Two on, one out. Bounce to third. Bregman to first, and Polanco is out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Oh, Garver up to bat next, lays off for a ball. That one missed. No, nope, right. well, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Two, one. With the go-ahead run at third, here at the bottom of the seventh. And fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Three. Got him! They miss a big. Back at T-Mobile Park. We're at the top of the eight. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. There's a strike. All in one.
wouldn't Outside, chase that ball. time. Line drive. And a base hit right there. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that, that ball and, and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. McCormick on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Strike one. If you're a base one runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get hey. in the scoring position. Late on that fastball. One ball, two frames. Righty to the plate. Got it! Run right away. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. Slap the other way, foul. 